Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I uh, just thought I'd do an unboxing uh, Saturday morning here in Australia. And I've had this book sitting in a storage box ever since I moved out of my last house um, some months ago, I think five, six months ago now. So uh, yeah, I was rummaging through and thought, oh my God, so I've got this. Uh, so I thought I'd show you guys. Uh, you've probably seen videos of this on YouTube, but um, let's take a look. So we'll just get this uh, packaging off. Uh, incidentally, you can see it was really, really well packaged. Uh, really, really heavy, big book as well. But um, yeah, you've probably already um, seen what this is. Metal Slug, The Ultimate History. Uh, that's a collector's little postcard there uh, that came, well, I take it it's a collector's card, that came with the uh, book. It wasn't actually shrink-wrapped with the book, but uh, it was in the um, in the box. So there you go. I'm not going to go uh, writing on that and sending it to my dad in the UK or anything or any other family member. That's going to be kept. So here we have the book. Let's get this shrink wrap off. OK, did that rather quickly. As we can see, I got the limited edition version. I actually had to pre-order this because it sold out fast. Uh, you generally find Metal Slug, The Ultimate History. You generally find with these books that, um, uh, well, limited edition of anything to do with gaming, uh, people just buy multiple copies and then you find them almost instantly on um, the auction sites like uh, eBay, things like that. But uh, Okay, here's the outer cover. This was the limited edition part. And as we can see, look at this a battery compartment on the back, which uh, I think the switch to on. And you've got the authentic weapon sounds from the uh, Metal Slug game. All games. And uh, yeah, it's quite. I had uh, seen other people mention this and. Uh, I didn't think the sound would be quite as good. I thought it would, it just wouldn't sound right, but it does actually sound authentic and uh, sounds like the games. So pretty decent from a uh, nice, uh, a nice touch, nice addition. So we're going to flip through the book now. Uh, I am going to try, possibly try to go through every page, um, but I'm not going to pause on every page for, you know, minutes or, a great deal of time because I don't want this video to go on for absolute hours this book is really really thick but if there's anything you want to see just pause the video guys you'll be able to read this so here we have just the history of uh, Metal Slug how it uh, came to be I love the Metal Slug games, as you guys know. I, I've played, uh, I've done complete playthroughs of them, uh, of all of them, I believe, uh, on the Neo Geo, anyway, uh, from one to five on my channel. So please check those out. And uh, whenever I think of Neo Geo, I'm a big Neo Geo fan, as you guys know. I always think of the Metal Slug games always um, from my first experience of seeing the Neo Geo uh, arcade and home system in a little independent shop, independent game shop that was back just across the road from where I lived. Uh, at that time I lived in a tower block with my mother and um, used to go in there and just used to see the Neo Geo MVS arcade machine and the home system just wishing that I owned them and uh, yeah, it took many years before I could actually even uh, even buy a Neo Geo AES which I got about, I think it was around 13 years ago and uh, and then I was fortunate enough when we moved to Australia two and a half years ago I picked up the Neo Geo MVS 4 slot arcade cabinet uh, and I currently have around 50 MVS games. I have all the Metal Slugs. Well, I say I have all the Metal Slugs. I have one to four. Number five has become rather expensive. Um, 
there are others on other systems. I believe there's the Neo Geo Pocket. So there's one and two on that. I have both of those. But uh, this is just the history about uh, how Metal Slug became uh, or came to be. Look at the artwork in the book. And the artwork on the Metal Slug games, I believe they're all sort of hand-drawn. Uh, we should see some concept art in this book, from what I understand. Uh, it's the first time I flicked through it. So here we have the games from 96 to 2009, starting with Metal Slug. I still love the original Metal Slug, I really do. Um not sure which one my favourite is, possibly number three, although I believe number three, the last level in itself, goes on for so long, I think too long. Uh, there we have a little bookmark that's made of a nice um, silk ribbon. So uh, you can keep track of what page you're on. Here we have the concept art, all the vehicles, the metal slugs, the enemy vehicles, the characters, the little old uh, POW there. It's just fantastic. The detail. <laughs> that guy had his uh, face shot off. I just love it. I love the whole style of the games. I mean, um, you know, shooting the uh, Germans or the Nazis as they were. Uh, obviously, I've got nothing against Germans, but, the you know, the Nazis, um, which were featured in a lot of games uh, back in the day. Doom, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3D, um, to name a few. But... Uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. Here we have some more concept art. And the uh, the term metal slug is referring obviously to the um, to the vehicles that you can uh, locate and find on the various levels from tanks to to little planes to submersible vehicles you can use um, to dispatch the enemy so they're the slugs that are um, the slug vehicles that are located around the uh, levels some of them hidden and uh, secrets Just flicking through quickly, don't want to spend hours on this video, but look at the artwork, look at the time that's gone into this book. Incidentally guys, this book was released by Bitmap Books and they're a um, company based in the UK I believe. Now I'm formerly, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm formerly from uh, Essex in the UK. Uh, which, if you're not familiar with that, is about half an hour commute from London. And lived there all my life, and pretty much all my life, and moved to Australia two and a half years ago. But, uh, yeah, so obviously I've bought this book since being in Australia, so I had to pay the shipping costs and, and that's the problem. When I buy these things from, obviously these books from Bitmap Books, the last one I bought was King of Fighters. Um, history of the King of Fighters. Uh, was it the History of King of Fighters? I believe it was. And... Uh, absolutely superb book uh, I did a video of that on my channel so please check that out but uh, I buy products from Limited Run as well and they're a company that release um, games that are um, just downloadable from the PlayStation Store and Nintendo Store and Xbox I believe I believe they they sell for Xbox as well and uh, 
they get the rights, I don't know how, to um, publish the physical disc um, of those games. So I often buy games usually relating to Neo Geo and SNK from them. And yeah, the postage costs have just gone up for that site. But to ship to here in Australia, it cost, it cost me quite a bit of money buying those. So I am going to reduce that and limit what I actually buy from them. But uh, this is fantastic. Look at the artwork in this. I, I just had to get this book. I do believe that any, in my opinion, if, if you are a Neo Geo and SNK fan um, and you like reading, obviously, if you can't read, then uh, it's no point, uh, no point purchasing um, a book, obviously. But uh, if you can read and you enjoy reading and you enjoy reading about games and their origins and um, the various releases and history of the games and development, then uh, it's definitely worth picking this book up. The boss battles, the bosses, the enemies, superb. There was just nothing like this, like the Metal Slug games on the uh, on the other consoles, which was the SNES, SNES Super Nintendo uh, Entertainment System and the Sega Mega Drive at the time, or, Ge or Genesis, uh, depending which region you're from. Uh, yeah, okay, the games were pretty good on those systems but you know there were some uh run and gun shooters on those systems you know like the pro protectors the um what was the other one on the sega genesis was it guardian heroes and that was pretty good as well but it just didn't compare to the metal slug games the uh the neo geo aes obviously um being the equivalent of this metal slug 5 which are neat They're quite expensive though um being based on obviously the arcade uh, architecture, you know, what was under the bonnet of the uh, Neo G Geo AES, literally the uh, Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo just couldn't, couldn't compare in terms of games similar to the Metal Slug series, um, you know, the explosions, the graphics, the sounds, in my opinion, they're just absolutely superb. Uh, one thing the Neo Geo didn't get completely right is the side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Uh, they had plenty of one-on-one -on -one fighters, um, but the yeah side-scrolling, uh, many people would say that Final Fight by Capcom was superior. Uh, and I personally believe that the Streets of Rage games, in particular number two, was superior. I do like Burning Fight, um, Mutation Nation on the Neo Geo. Uh, I do find those enjoyable, but Streets of Rage was better in my opinion. A lot of other people would say Final Fight is the um, definitive beat em up. Um, certainly in those early years. Uh, I also like uh, Vendetta, uh, which I own the arcade PCB board, uh, and I did a video of that recently, a pickup video. Please check that out. But uh, yeah, I think that's right up there as well with enjoyability and uh, and it's just a great game. And here we go. We're checking out more artwork here. This book certainly uh, certainly has a load of pages. Metal Slug 6. Now, I have played that game, but that was on the Sammy Thomas Wave. I do want to pick one of those up. Um, it's just like a little arcade motherboard uh, jammer, um, similar to the MVS. And I do want to pick one of those up. There are some great games, but those games, um, Metal Slug 6, and I think there's a couple, couple of uh, King of Fighters games, um, as well as some others that I'd like to pick up. They've got really, really expensive, especially if you pick up the original cartridge. But there's a lot of bootlegs and fakes going along. A lot of sellers, uh, specifically in Japan, on the auction sites, are selling the Sammy Thomas Wave motherboard, but are also including a cartridge. Um, there's also a Samurai Showdown game on that, or Metal, you know, so they include Samurai Showdown, Metal Slug, or King of Fighters, and um, they're selling it 
the bundle for quite a reasonable price, but then in the listing it says cartridge not an original. So the cartridges are becoming quite sought after, the originals anyway. So I would like to get my hands on the Samir Thomas Wave. But um, yeah, that might be a while before I get hold of that. That guy in the corner there looked like uh, Thanos from the Avengers. Metal Slug 7. So what was this on? Not even sure I've played that. Was that on the DS? Would actually like to uh, track down and pick up all of these Metal Slug games. Not sure if that's a possibility, depending on the price. The one that I do have to get pretty soon, because the price is just increasing so much, is uh, Metal Slug 5. So I will need to get that one soon. So here we have the interviews. So uh, these are the, this is the game development team. So they're being asked questions. Oh, bit of foam from the uh, packaging just fell on the book there. Sorry about that, guys. So pages getting stuck together there. Pages are really really good quality as well. Quite thick. The book is really really weighty. Uh, really well made and put together. Um, thing that also annoys me with books, um, especially big books like this, is that um, you find pages falling out, that the spine's not very sturdy, things of things like that. And that really, really bugs me, especially when you pay a lot for a book. So I'm hoping this book stays together. So far, so good. Uh, the King of Fighters one was um, was magnificent anyway. So I still haven't read through all of that book, but uh, waiting to move. Um, so we're just in another rental at the moment. Uh, we've been here coming up to six months. We're going to move again. We've just bought a property. So really excited about moving. And uh, I'll have everything set up just so, just the way I like it. You can't really get settled into a rental that you know you're only going to be in for six months, maximum a year. So uh I do have a games room, obviously, which you guys have seen. But, um, yeah, I've got a games room in the new house, albeit smaller than this one. But uh, I will make that really, really, really nice, relaxing place. And I will do a video on that. Here we go. More, more, more interviews, staff and team interviews and questions. The level of detail in this book is magnificent. It really is. Okay, I think we have come to the end of the book. That was a fair number of pages, guys. And there we have the, you know, the front cover is really well designed, put together. The back cover, you've got the little uh, prisoner of war there. The front, you've got our hero. Is it Marco? That's the guy I always use. And here we go. We'll just test these weapon sounds one last time. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, if I pick up any other interesting game related books, in particular to do with Neo Geo, I will show you. Thanks for watching guys, cheers, bye.